large amounts of antivenom have to be administered for a venomous bite. So usually up to 20 milligrams of antivenom for each milligram of venom. Goodness. So that's a lot of antivenom. Mm. And if you consider a large snake, such as a gaboon viper, can administer around 100 milligrams in one single bite. So, and for this reason, the production of antivenom is very expensive one, yes. and antivenom is an expensive commodity. Mm. And is that, um, of course, that's something that's used in specialist hospitals, and it's used for the public. They don't have to pay. Yes, it's usually for it. made available from toxicology centres yeah. in 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 all different countries. So. If somebody was bitten by a spider, say here in Andalusia, you would be immediately administered to a clinic who would ring up the toxicology center, who would then advise them as to what the best method of treatment will be. Mm. Now, this could be a specific antivenom for a snake, for example, or in the case of a black widow spider, it would be an intravenous dose of calcium gluconate. Mm. However, it's so important that the animal is identified at least to genus level. Mm. And that's where the book comes in handy because my book, Poisonous Creatures of the Mediterranean, identifies every single poisonous creature and medically significant creature found here in the entire Mediterranean region and Europe as a whole. Okay, and that so would be important for identifying this because if you're bitten by this spider to the layperson, it's a spider. Yes, they wouldn't know exactly what it was. And how long would you have, um, you know, to, to be able to get the antivenom? It depends on each... You mean to... How long would before the clinic you... have before they would be able to order the venom in? No, how long do you have as a human oh, being? How long do you have to live? <laughs> okay, right. Now, usually if you're bitten by a venomous animal, um, you, the systemic effects will be immediate. Right. Okay, so if you have a patient who has gone into shock or is having heart palpitations, having breathing difficulty, they need to be taken to a clinic immediately. Right. Then it is the next process to identify what has happened. So if they were with somebody, or if the patient can talk, they will say, look, I've been bitten by a spider or a snake. They might not know what the species is. If they have seen the animal, they can then describe it. If you have my guide, it's made completely easy because you can turn to the page, the doctor can see the picture of the animal, mm. as well as the scientific name, because doctors are not familiar with scientific names of animals. They are there to treat people. They are not experts on poisonous animals. Mm. That is why they need to contact the toxicology center yes. in order to get advice. And this book obviously makes it easier for them to make, to do their work. And it is vital that administration is done as soon as possible. And are there, um, I mean, there's always side effects to everything, isn't there? Yes. But uh, are there sort of significant risks, side effects, any risks with There can uh, be significant risks to certain people from antivenoms. This syndrome is known as um, serum sickness. Mm. And serum sickness can produce all kinds of effects um, in various different people. It usually takes place after the serum has been administered, maybe a few days after, sometimes only a few hours after, and mm. sometimes weeks after. And this can be headaches, temporary blindness, stomach cramping, in fact, similar symptoms to that of a venom. Okay. Um, but it is up to the physician to um, determine whether the risk presented from the venom is sufficient for the antivenom to be administered. Mm. And sometimes, in rare cases, antivenoms can kill a patient. Okay, in certain circumstances. Mm. Because what we've got to bear in mind is that the serum is produced in animals, usually horses and livestock, and sometimes for people who are allergic or, or are hypersensitive, the serum might be rejected by the body mm. because it is not human serum. Mm.